And this is NBA 2K TV. I hope you are just as excited for the show as I am, and I can promise you that we are going to have an awesome time. And in the locker room, each guy has been going over and through his own routine to get ready. But once they take the floor, they're one single unit. A subway system in Manhattan, part of the experience here in New York. A good Friday night to you sports fans. You've come to the right place. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, our terrific analysts, and David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. Let's see some of the numbers here for Devin Booker. And the biggest takeaway when you look at his numbers is how good his three-point shooting has been the past five games. He's finding the open spots on the perimeter, and when he's getting good looks, boy, he is not missing. And as things get ready to roll, let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's on the sideline. David? Thank you, Kevin. Well, Mikel Bridges is a big part of the Suns' growth into a powerhouse. Coach Monty Williams said of his two-way swing man, I believe he has every intangible, talent and quality to be a glue guy in that starting lineup. Mikel has an edge to him. Guys respect the heck out of him because he competes every day. Kevin, I compete every time you throw it down to me. <laughs> you do. And you're a great competitor. DA, it is an honor to be on this broadcast with you each and every game. And certainly Bridges one to watch. D.A., thanks. Looking at the starting five for the Phoenix Suns. Up it forward, they'll have Bridges and Crowder. The star backcourt of Paul and Booker are out there. And it's Aiton in at the five. And for the Knicks, Randall and Robinson make up the inside pair. Sharing the wing spots, Fournier and Barrett. And it's Walker in at the point. Well, the season's still in its very early stages, but Brent, how long before some teams decide to shake things up? That's a good question, Kevin. I think it depends on what the expectations of your team are going in. And if you get to the early part of December and you're not seeing the fusion of some of the guys and the play style that you expected after making either an off-season acquisition or uh, the improvement of some of your younger players, I think that's when some of the discussions in front offices start to happen about what kind of movement can happen for our team. And that might be for getting better for the rest of that season or starting to think about the subsequent seasons ahead. Took him no Mikhail time at all Bridges. on that one. Bridges has a lot of jobs for his team, but if he consistently knocks down three, he can add it to the list. Walker the pass to Fournier. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Fournier's got five. And I like the back and forth here, showing confidence from Rain. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Fast break. Here come the Suns. Here's Hayton. Offensive rebound. That one doesn't drop. The defense is tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. Barrett with the bounce pass. Here's the three. Walker's shot is off. 
Phoenix has gone two of two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Here's Booker, and he gets it to go. Devin Booker. Devin Booker will score by any means necessary, and that time over decent defense, getting the contact. And it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Paul. It's out of bounds out of to New York. Oh, They'll retain possession. New York ball. And the Knicks with possession here. It's a five-point game. And Walker kicks to Fournier. Shot clock at six. For the three, the shot will not fall. And Phoenix will come the other way. Coming into this, having notched a win against Cleveland in their last game. And sometimes it's a Devin lot Booker. harder to get easy looks on the road. But they found ways to get their guys good looks. Well, it was probably a good feeling in that last game that the mid-range work, the long-range work, the inside game work. But the best feeling was the crowd leaving that building not in a good mood. Aiton is a player who Greg occasionally shoots a three, but it's still a developing part of his game. Yeah, you know, not the best numbers from outside. Does it to keep teams honest, but it's a far fetch to say he can stretch a defense. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. Giving up a run here, can, can they turn it around? It's hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. been fantastic over the last 10 games or so averaging about 15 points nine assists and three rebounds they're loving how he's running the show here his sensational passing really breathing life into their offense something in the coach's playbook here where the schemes fire on all cylinders when he's in the game great conduit for them offensively he knows where everyone is at all times here's booker and the dunk by booker He's not going to miss an opportunity to find a teammate Chris Paul delivers. Next trail by nine. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Walker dishes to Robinson. And the rejection by Eaton. And he's able to get it back. And stolen by Eaton. Here's Booker. Fournier pulls it down. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he'd lay it straight up and in. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Suns. And it's been about their defense. They're playing with a frenetic pace, putting a lot of pressure on the ball handlers and forcing turnovers. Another big aspect has to be the fast break and transition play really looking to go up tempo tonight. Drops in the breakaway lane. Paul's got seven. Defensively giving up far too many open rhythm looks. From D, Walker connects from three-point range. And a master at creating space. Walker can get his shot off in a variety of ways. Booker and the dunk by Booker. 
And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has paid dividends. Highly effective down there with the physical play. Walker against Paul, and taken away by Paul. Score the basket. Chris His Paul. fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. Yeah, they are really starting to push it now. That's a two-pointer from Walker. A shot. No good. So Phoenix will take it the other way. A drive by Booker. And to get open is Robinson. Yeah, a nice Booker. shot by Booker. And that's ten straight points in the paint. The defense. Nowhere to be found. Pass to Randall. Fournier gets a wide open look. That's in. Coming off an assist from Randall. 11 points in the game. It feels like the other four guys have disappeared at this point. He wants to be the one to get them back. The Quick shot's Paul. good from Paul. Oh, they own the interior right now. 10 straight points coming from inside. To the paint. Here's Randall. Doesn't go for him. Good work defensively by Crowder. Booker inside. He's guarded by Fournier. And it's Aiton missing. Knicks trail by 17. And Paul over to help. Outside Robinson. Outside Fournier. And again, New York with the triple. 12 straight points on the three-pointers. And the D looks shell -shot. Good on the shot. Yeah, it just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Their last game, a win against the Lakers, looking to carry it into this one. Yeah, I think they prepared to face more defensive pressure, and that one didn't happen, and boy, they just rolled. It took just a little bit of time, but once they figured out the D on that night, man, their offense was rolling. and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. Taking a look at New York, right now they're in seventh in the conference, looking to build on their record. And right now for the Knicks, they haven't packed any big surprises into the early part of this season. They're right in the middle of the NBA's pecking order. And based on their early returns, it's really hard to see that position changing very much in one direction or another. I see them as a team that's right there in the middle of the pack, but not one that's ready to make any leap this year. Here's Walker. Following the basket by Chris Paul. Randall. And Randall throws it down. Yeah, Randall does a good job. His frame alone helps to create some space. Just with a little pivot there, able to find a way to score. The drive by Paul. And it's good again. And the next one, seven for eight shooting night so far. And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. Out to the right wing. Here's Walker. Drives to the hoop. And he uses the glass on the way. Walker's got five points so far. Improving size does not matter. Walker comfortable slamming it up inside. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Here's Walker following the basket by Chris Paul. There's the triple. Walker's shot is off. Not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's kicking himself for whiffing a bit on that one. Second chance shot, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. The defense shaking their heads. No idea how to stop him in this quarter. He's got him on the ropes. And, you know, Booker might have been a volume shooter, at least early in his career, but now he's a legit number one option for an offense. Catching up on the changes for New York. Taj Gibson's checked in for Robinson. Noel comes in for Julius Randle. Burks, he's checked in for Barrett. 
and it's Rose in for Kemba Walker. Free throw, good Booker. And Craig, the efficiency for Booker has grown over the years. And no longer forcing shots. Takes what's available to him. And I believe he can be the leading scorer on a championship caliber team. There are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. Count that one. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Pass to Rose. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Suns leading by 19 points. He takes it in. Trying to get open is Johnson. And he comes up with the deuce. Payne's got his second bucket of the night. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Works with it. He picked up 12 points in their last win against the Lakers. Let's just not forget about the work on the glass. His effort level was a 10 that night out of 10. Here's Payne following the score by Derrick Rose. Just doing the job on the backboard. Not loose, and Gibson kicks to Rose. Misses the three. Phoenix has gone three of three from deep. Nine points rung up from outside here in the first. Bridges, and it's slammed in by Bridges. That's from Bridges showing off his athleticism. He's able to get in there at full speed and still score. And so it's Burks bringing it up now for the Knicks. And this is their first time matched up with the Suns this season. Yeah, and a bit of a revenge game for them as they were swept in the two-game season series just from last year. And this one of the few opponents who really stuck it to them during what was an otherwise excellent season for them. You're right, they've got to have revenge on their minds tonight. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Landry Shamitz checked in for Phoenix. And Burks hits two free throws. Suns leading by 19 points. Here's Payne. In the hoop for his third make from the field. He's three for four thus far in the contest. The Knicks shooting quite well in these early minutes, 55%. And Rose, wide open. He shoots. Hits it from three-point range. Rose has got seven. A sound decision maker with a reliable jump shot. Rose is more than comfortable in catch and shoot situations. Landry and the three ball is good. Three point goal. And I like the back and forth here showing confidence from range. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes right now to shoot it. And how about this first quarter? Seven of nine from the field. He is putting on a show. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way. Looked like a simple play, and it turned into a turnover. Can't give away possessions like that. And the Knicks making a change here. Rickley's checked in. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. And Kevin, one thing you have to respect about Derrick Rose is that he's never stopped evolving. He's constantly adapting his game to best fit what his team needs. All right, look 
who's coming onto the court. Come on and get loud for your next city dancer. Your next city dancer. And so it's New York with it, trailing by 19. And that was the play to make. Rose making the right read. Phoenix has gone a perfect 4 of 4 from beyond the arc. A lot of their points coming by way of the three in the first quarter. And that one's good, Shannon. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Yeah, that along with maintaining the pace of play right now, playing with tons of intensity. Now here's Rose. He has seven. Two minutes remaining in the And play. Phoenix Two pushing minutes. it up now. Here's McGee. And too long on the shot. New York shooting an outstanding 61% in the early goings. Now, here's Quickly. He's covered by Shamit. And they're on the break. Here's McGee. And the rejection by Noel. Noel in there to intimidate and does so there. Now, here's quickly. Not a lot of room. That shot misses. Johnson, the pass to Bridges. Shoots over Burks. Phoenix, no good that time either. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good look. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Here's Payne after Alec Burks' score. Here's Johnson. And there's the bucket. Cameron Stay with Johnson. it on the offensive glass, getting it done. And the Suns lead by 19. Knocks it loose. There's 48 seconds left in the first quarter. Violation. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. And they've had a real tough half here, Kev. No surprise. The score reflects the amount of turnovers they've had. Way too many. 46 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Payne. Two free throws Nick coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Noel. That's his first personal. Second team foul. And he's got his first free throw of the game. The and his average at the Kevin line stands Payne. at about 79% right now. So shots. solid numbers in that department. Two shots. Relax on the The first one falls. Payne hits them both. 41 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Rose passes to Noel. Back to Rose. Passes it to Quickly. From deep. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Rose has got assist number five here tonight. And he drives in. Two points, that one goes. Payne's got 10 points in the game. Shamit. The defense so concerned with Shamit and his shot-making ability, he makes the play that time. Here's the break. Here's Payne. Finished off the break. D has been just completely helpless and turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. Knocked away. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Next, ball Next ball as New York keeps possession of it.
driving the lane. Outside Rose. And again, New York with the triple. And that's a shot Rose must make consistently. When he's making it rain from there, this team is hard to match up with. And so it's Devin Booker making highlights for the Phoenix Suns. Going on an absolute rampage, piling in the points. He dictated the pace of the entire quarter. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And we've seen the improvement for the Knicks under coach Tom Thibodeau. His star, Julius Randle, defines Tibbs' approach. He really cares about you as a human being as a person. He wants to see you uh, really excel as a player. And he knows that the only way to do that is through the grind, through hard work, through putting the hours and the effort in day after day. So that's his thing. Um, he's going to push you, push you in practice, push you in workouts. And uh, he's your biggest fan when you're out there on the court. He is indeed in that effort and grittiness, something we've seen from Thibodeau's teams over the years. And Knicks fans recognize that brand of basketball. You think back to the years with Ewing and Oakley in the middle. It fits in the Big Apple. So far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And for the Suns, this has been the game they wanted to have. Yeah, in that first period, they looked to push in transition at every opportunity. It felt like they knew that there were openings in transition and just wanted to keep trying to feed that, get out quick. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. On the court for the Suns, the forwards for them, Bridges and Johnson. Andrew Shamit is out there with Cameron Payne. And it's McGee in at the five down low. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the three-point shot of Mikel Bridges seemed to abandon him early in his NBA career. Coach Monty Williams said he developed a hitch in his release. But Bridges got in the lab with the coaching staff, changing his shot Cameron midway Johnson. through season two. And the results speak for themselves. Guys? He had a career year shooting, that's for sure. I admire his work ethic. D.A., thank you. And Gibson now top the key. That's tipped. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's on JaVale McGee. For the next. Taj Gibson is not going to back down from anybody. He really does enjoy when the game gets physical. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And the first one drops. And Brent, we're seeing a lot of new officials joining the NBA ranks. Any changes you see resulting from that? Well, I, I think this is a time for coaching staffs and, and teams to be a little bit more patient when the, with the officials than they have been in the past as they're trying to understand the rhythm and flow of not just the game and the way it needs to be called, but the communication between the players and the coaches and how you try to work towards still having a great product on the floor and not having the refs impact the game in ways to get talked about that they don't want to be spoken about. Paul with the bucket. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. They get a hand on it. And here we go, Paul heading to the hoop. Here's Crowder. And the shot no good, a bit short. That might not be the shot they want him taking, even with the D backing off. Quickly the bounce pass. Another shot. No good from Gibson. And so it's Crowder with it. He'll bring it up for Phoenix. 22 is their biggest lead. They'll be off to Brooklyn for a meeting with the Nets after this one. And that will conclude a four-game road trip. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions 
Right now, they need the basket. Here's quickly, and he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. Quickly's got five. I tell you, he has some impressive moves in his repertoire. That's as good as it gets, but just yeah, one of many. Even. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Burks dishes to Randall. Back to Burks. Quickly with a wide open look. Cans it from downtown. He's got eight. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Here's Hayton. Burks pulls it in. Knicks trail by 18. It's Barrett on the wing. Gibson against Paul. No one near Randall as he lets it go. From outside, off the mark. Suns have gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. Here's Shamit, banked in off the glass. Shamit. And the Suns lead by 20. And that's exactly what they're going for on that shot. That one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Crowder. The name's New York Knicks. For the Knicks. Mitchell Robinson's checked in for Gibson. And it's Kimba Walker in for Alec Burks. Booker, he's checked in for the Suns. Timeout called the Suns. Your next city dancer. Checked in for quickly. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Back to Fournier. Shot clock at five. Come get it. New York needs to get off a shot from 17 feet out. Rebound by the Suns. Booker in the corner. Oh, he jams it right over Mitchell Robinson. Wow! How about Booker going high up for the dunk? And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. Devin Booker. And their balanced effort at both ends has hushed this crowd. Well, all night long, in control of the pace, and you don't want to let go of that rope right now. New York's gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. No secret here, Brent. Devin Booker known for his offense, but his defense has come a long way as well. Yeah, it's so funny when scorers come into the league and, and they score and people are still critical of, of them. That's what happened to Devin Booker. And then he realized as the games became bigger and more important, how much the defensive end is going to help Booker. his team do the things he wants to do. And so he's taken that tune. He's decided to play defense. Time he's time been time much time better time. over the course of the last two seasons. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. And they're allowing too many points in the paint. Coach is going to let them hear about it. Yeah, coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it, make the adjustment.
Here's Walker. He's got five. Randall outside. Outside Fournier. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Second team. The next shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. At the line for New York. Evan Fournier. At the line. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Fournier. And he makes the first, but misses the second. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach. Driving and drawing. Initiating contact. Create opportunities. Get to the line. Now the pass to Walker. Fires the three. It's good from long range. Walker's got his third bucket of the night. Well, that basket by Walker, it shows you he's versatile at that point guard position. Able to score off the pass. Inside. One-on-one -on -one fast break. No good from outside. Phoenix leading by 20. And it's Paul penetrating. Good on the bucket. Chris Paul. Paul's got 21 in the game. About CP3 getting drafted all the way back in 2005. Still putting up big nights scoring it. Here's Randall. And Randall throws it down. Gotta love the effort there. An undersized four who can really make things happen with that leaping ability. The shot's good from Paul. The assist. Just got that ball on a string and uses that change of pace so effective. Chris Paul getting wherever he wants to go now. Booker against Fournier. Robinson kicks to Walker. Tipped away. Nabbing another steal. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. Ripping and running. They have a big advantage now in those transition opportunities. Walker goes in. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his second free throw. It's going to be on Jay Crowder. And really for his size, Walker is no stranger to physical play. He's aggressive on the move. He can catch the D off guard and get himself to the line. Shooting two. And he makes the first. And Kimball Walker traded to the Thunder this offseason was subsequently bought out before joining the Knicks. Walker and the Knicks seem like a perfect fit. You just hope Walker can stay healthy at this stage of his career. Kemba Walker hits them both. And defensively, no matter the size of the man he's guarding, Walker really puts up a fight. Some smaller guards pretend to battle. But Walker will bang with you, try to front you, pull on your jersey, whatever it takes. He backs down from no one. Shot's good by Walker. Those interior passes can be dangerous sometimes, but if the timing is good and you execute it there, you can get easy hoops. And the dunk by Booker. Booker. And there's not a thing you can do against Devin Booker when he's heating up like this. And here's Fournier. He brings it up for the New York Knicks. They've got the Hawks ahead of them in their next game, and it's in Atlanta. That'll be the first half of a two-game trip. That shot off. Some solid defense from eight. Ball outside. Driving to the basket. And it's blocked and they're able to recover. And the shot's good from Crowder. From that in-between range, they've been the much better team. New York's gone for the three-pointer seven times here in the second and been successful three times. Here's Walker. Down through the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. And now 
while he's taken a solid opening in the quarter and built on it here. In the second. And that one's Assist good, Aiden. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Fournier finds Walker. Outside Robinson. In the corner, Barrett with it. Pocket six. Pulls it up. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Phoenix has gotten off four shots from three-point range tonight and buried every one of them. Oh, offensive interference. Goal, Tendy. The basket counts. So for the Knicks, Noel comes in for Mitchell Robinson. And Derrick Rose is subbed in for Barrett. And for the Suns, JaVale McGee's checked in for DeAndre Ayton. Bridges comes in for Johnson. And it's Payne in for Chris Paul. Poked away. Payne kicks to McGee. And foul Next on the foul. shot. He'll shoot two at the three. free throw line. That's his second first throw. Yeah, the defender all over. Foul. The Suns have Shooting gone three for, for three at the line tonight. Chappelle and and McGee really, McGee the form at, at the, the line, line all season has shots. been terrific. 79% as a team. Two shots. That's good from McGee. Both free throws, good from McGee. The Knicks shooting 45% in quarter number two. Stolen by McGee. Over Walker. The shot's good from Japan McGee. McGee. McGee's got four this quarter. New York's gone for the three-pointer seven times here in the second and been successful three times. Walker finds Noel. Up top, Walker. Payne covering. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. His goal is to get the defense rattled. Walker can do it with his shooting, his passing, or the ability to draw fouls. He's gone two for two at the line so far. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Walker. A, a prolific score in this league. Walker just keeps getting better. One of the most elusive covers in the game today. And so Walker nails both of them. Well, it's interesting to watch him because he's putting his body on the line to get to the line. We didn't see this during the first quarter, but he's making up for it here. And the rejection by Noel. Outside, Walker. And the call on the shot it sends him to the line. That's his first Noel, since coming into the league, seemingly has fought an uphill battle to try to find a role on a team where he can consistently make key contributions. Let's hope it's now. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. All three throws good from Noel. It's Payne with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. Bridges shot. Good. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. And he plays that pass out in front of him and let him just run into it in rhythm. The shot from 20 feet away. Payne can't hit. 
New York's gone for the three-pointers seven times here in the second and been successful three times. Such a wide-open look. Walker's got 19 points. He's got it going here in the second. Gaining moment as this game continues to go. Payne's shot is good. Well, he passes to the wide-open man, Bridges, developing some team chemistry. New York's gone an even 50% from three-point range in the second quarter. Four for eight. Pass to Fournier, to the middle. That one, no good. Excellent D that time there from McGee. Fires it up. Shot by Crowder, no good. Well, he finds some space in that in-between gap there. Too bad he can't release that one on target. And despite the hot start from beyond, from they've gotten go. away from shooting the triple. Driving inside. McGee, great positioning on the putback. That is really good work there on the offensive. One sixteen left to play here in the half. Walker surveying the floor. Down low. Here's Randall. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his second first time All-Star last season. Julius Randall was just flat out awesome. At the line. Brent, which areas do you think Julius, Julius Randall has Randall. improved the At most? The well, I think Two making shots. plays for other guys. I think stretching out the floor and having confidence in that shooting. And maybe that's the key word, Kevin, is just having confidence overall. Shoot and two. I guarantee you this, Julius Randle was more tired after last season than any other year. So coming in and being in great shape is huge for the next few seasons for him. First free throw is good. Randle really improved in his shooting range from 10 to 16 feet last year and that just makes him so much more a complete offensive threat in any system he plays in catching up on the changes for new york burks he's checked in for evan fournier and quickly in for walker and a change for the suns landry shamitz checked in for booker both free throws good from randall and one thing that separates randall from other guys his size, that spin move. He can do it off the drive, in the post, now going either direction. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. Here's Shamit, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. It's going to be on Nerland's Noel. Shooting for Phoenix. Landry Shamit, one of those Landry guys Shamit. continuing to hone his skills, two trying shots. to become more of an impactful player in the two-way format, both on defense and with that shooting ability. Free throw good from Shamit. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Knicks trail by 20. Got a piece of it. And it's quickly in the corner. Pass to Randall. Pulled the shot a little up, but the bounce goes his way. Randall's got 13 points in just this quarter. Phoenix has gotten off four shots from three point range tonight and buried every one of them. That's his first personal 13 foul. This is his Shooting second trip to the line in this one. Landry Plus, Shack. 84 is a really line. good number to post Two at shots. the foul line, and that's where he's at on the year. And he knocks down the first one.
that one falls, so he hits both of them. 32 seconds left in the first half of the game. Here's Quickly, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Quickly. And watch oh, out, you don't go. bring the whole basket down on top of you, young fella. I don't think he ever wanted to let go of the rim. Payne passes to Shamit. Baseline J on the way, and it's JaVel McGee Javel with the foul. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. Knicks trail by 18. Poked away. And now the Suns, a fast break. It's rebounded by Quickly. That's a two from Randall. And so it's Phoenix with an 18-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Tibbs. Going against a high-powered offense like this, I know you have your work cut out for you at the defensive end. Yeah, you know, they're tough to guard. They put a lot of pressure on you. You can't make body position mistakes. You've got to make sure we try to make them work for the points. We'll see if you can be more effective in the second half. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back. The first half mercifully coming to a close. I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny's here. Shaq is here. Devin Booker putting in some incredible work. He ended up with 28 points, two steals, and one rebound. Coming off a great performance last game, tonight he looked like he had that same aggressive mindset. Kenny, let's start with you. What do you think about the Suns? They score very effectively. With the exception of ball movement and play calling, they were able to exploit multiple weaknesses in the defense. They've got to feel good about themselves running out to a huge lead. And Shaq. What are your thoughts on New York? Just bad interior defense from them throughout the half. They're getting pushed around, not protecting the rim, allowing easy looks. That's the kind of D I love to face. I haven't had at least 30 by now, guys. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. My brother. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. You know, guys, Devin Booker has been exceptional here. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. Yeah, this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. Next trail by 18. In the forward positions, Barrett and Randall. Kemba Walker is out there with Evan Fournier, and it's Robinson in at the center. So that's who Tom Thibodeau starts the second half with. And Aiden with the hustle play there, just getting out, showing his ability to do damage on both ends. And stolen by Aiden. And Aiden throws it down. And I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen tonight. Just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball. Smart basketball defensively, turning into easy points. Walker dishes to Randall. Passes it to Barrett. Over to the wing. Just five to shoot. Shot's good by Walker. Yeah, you could see that RJ had seen him open earlier and then got in the right spot to deliver. Shot from the wing. Shot is good off the bat. Three men in. Aiton's got 14 points for the game. And how about that? Coming out to start the half, a perfect three of three. Knocked away. Paul with the steal. Up top, Crowder. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That's his first. And it's pretty crowded in there, Crowder. He gets to the line. For Phoenix, they have been exceptional shooting free throws tonight, going nine for nine. At the line, two shots. 
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Coming in as a second round pick in 2012, Jay Crowder has earned his spot in the NBA and has been part of some very big time winning teams. He's gaining that reputation as a hard nosed defender and that's what he'll keep. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Now here's Fournier, 21 points in the game. to the inside. Randall, that's in. He's 7 for 12 now in the game. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. The drive by Booker. Oh. Oh. Booker. Booker sometimes can come up Chris with those. Ball. He can be an impressive dunker. And now, let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And that has got to help the morale of this team. Let's see if that sets up a run here. Trying to get open is Robinson. Walker's shot is off. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Count that one. Jay Crowder. Crowder's got four points this quarter. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of half. They are rolling. Walker the pass to Barrett. Back to Walker. New York moving the ball around. That one goes in, and that's now 19 points for Julius Randle. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. Here's Ayton, and a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Chris Paul. Paul's got his seventh assist in the game. For New York, they've gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the half. The pass to Barrett, and another steal for him. His anticipation has been off the charts. Swiping the ball away with just such ease. Here's Crowder, kept alive. Ayton goes to the reverse yeah, layup and keeps it in. Ayton's got 18 points. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. New York calls timeout. Yeah, he needs to tell his guys to just box out with some energy. That, that's basic basketball. They've been lazy on the backboard and have allowed way too many second chance points. gone now in the third quarter. Pass to Walker. Now Barrett, defended by Bridges. Barrett the pass to Fournier. And it's out of bounds to the Knicks as New York retains possession. Knicks ball. And Phoenix making a change. Johnson's checked in. Johnson. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. Here's Robinson. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Five to shoot. It's deflected. Well, more than capable as a defender, Bridges with a great job using his length. Just two to shoot. Here's Walker. 
So Chris Paul, a terrific defender, uses his speed well right there to cover some ground. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. And it's Aiton missing. And Walker's got the ball here for the Knicks. Here's Fournier, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. Fournier's got 23 points. RJ does not have a problem setting up teammates, and he's getting better at doing that. And given Robinson's upside coming out of college, it was a little bit of a surprise that he fell to the second round. And he's more of a classic big that won't stretch the floor. You're not going to run the offense through him, but, boy, you can't teach size and athleticism. And that's what he brings to the party. Here's Booker. But Suns keeping it alive. A new 14. Basket good. Mikhail Bridges. Bridges has got nine points. And now we'll get a perspective here on the hustle game. How it's been going for the Suns. Their defense has been outstanding. Closing out on shots and blocking a few as well. A significant difference here has been the number of points off turnovers that they've gotten. Paul's shot is off. The Knicks shooting so far very efficient. All around about 55%. Here's Walker. And to get open is Robinson. And Walker gets it to go on the assist from Fournier. Maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. The Knicks have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the third quarter got underway. Here's Barrett, and there's another one for the Knicks. Well, that's a good confidence builder right there as RJ finds some room from the mid-range to knock it down. Here's Bridges. Takes it off Mikhail the glass. Bridges. And that's now Assisted 11 points from Mikael Bridges. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flames. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now, trying to put this one away. Walker the pass to Barrett. And Barrett slams it in. And Barrett will give you these kind of flashes. Walker. He got up that time. The drive by Booker. And the dunk yeah, by Booker. Booker. That's the guy they're going to keep going to, as they should. The lead's only going up if they keep feeding him. Ball's knocked loose and taken away by Paul. Stops. Pops. Oh, and the jam Cameron by Johnson. Johnson. That's what he gives you. A big-time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, he's not even thinking about kicking it out. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. Poke loose. And out of bounds as the Knicks gain possession. Noel's checked in for New York. Rose comes in for Walker. And the Suns making a change here as well. McGee's checked in. All against Rose. Left side, Gibson. He kicks it to Barrett. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Barrett's got eight. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. They get it back, and it's McGee with the jam. And just scrapes and claws for that offensive rebound and doesn't take any chances there with the put. G.A. strong work all around in the rebound and the stuff bolt. Wow. Fournier, and he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. And he just elevates and powers in the one hand. Mm -hmm. Textbook. Here's Bridges. The second chance effort, and the layup good Should by McGee. McGee. McGee's got four this quarter. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Outside Fournier. Rose against Paul. Pass to Noel. Six on the shot clock. Back to Barrett. Trying to get open is Gibson. Barrett, no good. Phoenix has gone a very strong four for five from three-point land in the ballgame. To the wing on the left. 
That's a two from Paul. Chris nice Paul. shot from the wing. The assist. 31 points for Chris Paul. So tough to keep up with the energy of Chris Paul at the point guard position, especially when he's handling the rock like that. Gibson up top, guarded by McGee. And Gibson kicks to Rose. Bridges with the board. Bridges has got four rebounds in this game. Here's Booker. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Booker's got 34. Down the stretch, he's been flat out awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. For three, Fournier buries it from three-point range. Fournier's got 28. So far, he's a can't-miss player. A superb scorer who plays to his strength. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge who's reporting from the sideline. Chris Paul. Thank you, Kevin. As NBA revenues climb into the tens of billions of dollars, teams have even more resources to compete. Staffs are growing with more coaches, trainers, and specialists, so general managers have more to manage than ever. Generally, the best organizations are those that effectively collaborate and communicate across the board. Kevin? And DA, as we know, that's always been the case. Thank you. Phoenix calls timeout. Working on consistency with that jumper. You can see Barrett has improved his shooting mechanics. Much more repeatable motion now. All right, look who's coming on to the court. Come on and get fouled for your next city dancer. Your Knicks City Dancer! For the Knicks, Julius Randle's checked in for Gibson. Burks comes in for Barrett. And quickly in for Evan Fournier. Phoenix also making some changes. Landry Shamit comes in for Johnson. And it's Payne in for Devin Booker. You can see Barrett looks a lot more comfortable now from every spot break on the floor. From three mid-range, the free throw line. When he knocks down shots, defenders have to creep up to stay connected. And that's when he can put the ball on the floor and get by people. Payne finds Shemmett. Let's it go from the wing. And that one off Landry the back Shemmett. of the rim and in. shamit has got 13. It's rare for a young player to enter the league that has this polished of a shot. Shaman getting it done. Rose attacking, and it's out of bounds to New York. They'll retain Remains possession. New York ball. Shaman with the steal. Here's Paul. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. 35 Bridges. points for Chris Paul. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Passes it to Quickly. Back to Rose. Fires for three. And again, New York with the triple. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Here's Payne. Made that one is his seventh of the contest, seven for 15 from the floor. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. Rose up on top, Payne covering. Six to shoot. Rose goes in, and he drops in the layup off the glass. 18 points for him. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half. Getting away from the three-point shot. And that's just too easy. Bridges in there slamming it down. New York's gotten 12 of their points from long range in the third quarter. Going 4 of 5 shooting. 
Here's Burks. And that one comes up a bit short. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now is massive. And so far, the defense has not learned much from the lessons Mikel is teaching them. There's 42 seconds left in the third. It's Noel atop the key. The pass to Quickly. Let's it go from 14. And good that time. Quickly's got 15. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Open shot, Randall, and there are the Knicks with another bucket. You wonder if the coaching staff is encouraging these kind of nights and aggressive play from Randall to take over. Takes it inside. Payne's shot is good. Well, he's too good a finisher to blow that kind of chance, but that's going to be a wake-up call to the defense. Pass to Randall. For three. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's the Phoenix Suns out there all by themselves with a 32-point lead to end the quarter. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Setting the floor for the Suns. They've got Smith. Henry Shamit is out there with Payne. And it's Hutchinson in at the three spot. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Quickly. Good for another basket. He's put up ten shots and made seven of them. Toppin trying to gain his confidence by sharing the ball. He gets an assist. Here's Payne. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming Obi up. Toppin. That's it's going to be on Obi Toppin. Team foul. And Brent, you played for the Spurs, the who pioneered Cameron player rest. Payne. More and more teams have followed that suit over the seasons, calling it load management, even uh, risking fines. Any take concern with the way things are done? Well, I understand the, the fans' complaint. You know, to think about being a, a 10 year old boy or girl and, and LeBron James is coming to your city and it's a load management day and he's not playing and so the league understands it it understands it from its broadcast partners and the way that they want the star players to be involved in in every game that they play and they've tried to adjust the schedule and moved it around a little bit doing away with back to backs I, I think it'll be a constant battle uh, but the organizations are investing in these players and health is their number one issue. They want them to play as many games and for as long as they can at an elite level. So we'll see how it goes in the, in the next couple of years. Quickly with it, working on pain. There's Noel. Eyes yet again. And the rejection by Smith. And he recovers it. And the officials call him for a three-second three violation. violation. And to Phoenix make Park. that mistake at this time is tough to come back from. Well, not making things easier on themselves right now, that's for sure. Alfred Payton, he's checked in for Cameron Payne. Phoenix has gone a very strong four for five from three-point land in the ball game. That one a little long. And I'm not sure that is a shot that he should be taking. No, he, he should know better. He knows that's not his game, which is why we don't see him take that shot off. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. Dayton drives in. 
and he banks in the lane. Well, Alfred Payton on a straight line drive, pretty fearless on that attack. Here's quickly. They get a hand on it. It's taken away by Payton. And Phoenix pushing it up now. Here's Smith. And Smith with the stop. Capitalizing on the era, grinding out points. You gotta love it. That's why you can't afford to just turn it over to him because he's gonna do stuff like that to make you pay just right down the throat. Toppin dishes the burps. After quickly. A floater. He lays it in. Quickly's got 21. One player gets a feel for that floater, it can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard them and where your point of commitment is. Wow, he That's doesn't make plays personal. like that very often. That's a nice move inside. Now, Peyton has such quick hands out there. That might be his best attribute on the floor. One shot. One shot. That's good from Peyton. Oh, and Brent, here's another thing to like about Peyton. He's very coachable. Well, no doubt. He's accepted a lot of different roles in a lot of different situations. And when you see a player like that who's turned over from team to team but still gets opportunities to play, that must be here. Earning the trust of the coaching staff. First That's why he's five. on the floor. 2021 At was an unusual season, to say the least, for players, coaches. Brent, there was a At lot to adapt to. How do you think he would have handled the condensed schedule? It's a good question, Kevin. I, I think just obviously you'd have work to do and I, I'd show up every day to do it. And I commend a lot of the players, not just in terms of the, the level of competition. It was all the other things that they had to do in order to suit up on a nightly basis. Uh, not playing in front of crowds. I mean, that is a love of the game type of season that, of course, I hope we never see again because of the circumstances around it. But the players do deserve a lot of credit. And the fans that, that hung in there and started to show up towards the end of the year uh, to support the players deserve a lot of credit as well. And I'm glad we're through that. Smith, the pass to Nader. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. Here's Hutchison. That's in, coming off an assist from Peyton. Hutchinson's got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. And so it's Burks bringing it up now for the Knicks. Knocks it loose. And that's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will retain possession. And New York making a change for the floor. Robinson's checked in. New York Knicks, Mitchell Robinson. Peyton surveying the floor. Offline from the top of the key. The Knicks have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting an even 50% from the field. Inside, Burks. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his first personal. And Spurs great Tim Duncan recently inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame. And you played with him, Brent, for a handful of seasons. You won a couple line. rings. Two Any shots. reflections? Well, uh, Tim was such a tremendous teammate and so welcoming to, to every player that uh, he came across that walked into a Spurs locker room with the inherent trust he had Two. from Coach Two. Popovich that they were going to invite players that were going to come in and be about the right things. I just remember my first time visiting San Antonio, signing as a free agent, and the first person that I saw in the summer in the gym by himself shooting bank shots on the practice floor was one Tim Duncan. What a leader and what an all-time great. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. 
The Suns have gone five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. And that one's good, Shamit. Shamit. Shamit having a night. A look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Quickly the pass to Jumpin. Rebound by Smith. Phoenix has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. The 15-footer, offensive rebound, goes back up. The shot by Nader, no good. And for the Knicks, they're shooting 44% in the fourth. The offense with some ups and downs. To the wing right side. Here's Burks. That one wide left. Phoenix has gone to three-point range seven times tonight, knocked down five of them. Here's Payton. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. And here is Quickly. New York, no good that time either. Here's Shamit. It's rebounded by Quickly. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense on you. It's stolen by Smith. Peyton against Quickly. Peyton drives in, uses the glass Elford to finish the Payton. lane. Well, saw the opportunity, did Elford Peyton, and inside, capitalized. Toppin kicks to Quickly. Passes to Toppin. Let's it go with a three. Drills it from outside. Toppin's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Phoenix calls timeout. Suns timeout. Your next City Dancer. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. Here's Peyton. Gets the front of the rim and out. Knicks have gone 5 of 12 from the field, entering the fourth quarter. And it's quickly in the corner. Let's the three fly. And again, New York with the triple. And with that three, his second of the half, he equaled his total from before the break. Peyton drives in over quickly. Tries again. And it's good on the way up. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. New York's gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. To the paint. Here's Toppin. And Toppin throws it down. And Toppin on top of the world there. Timeout called the Suns. Well, he was the college player of the year, Brent, in 2020. But Obi Toppin didn't make quite the impact people thought he would as a rookie. Well, we, we saw some flashes, and he wasn't used a ton last year. And guess what? That's okay. If you're going to have a 10- or 12-year career, and you have to learn slowly before you get acclimated to the NBA, we're going to see his size, we're going to see his athleticism, and we're going to see him grow as a player over the next couple seasons.
Phoenix has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Here's Peyton. Second shot opportunity. He takes it up and lays it in. Smith's got four this quarter. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. There's the pass to quickly. And the Knicks hit again from deep. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. And the basket by Peyton. Peyton, that is a tough shot. Peyton on the pull-up. Here he goes. And the rejection by Smith. They recover it. Pass to Knox. Takes the three. And it's Shamit with the rebound. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Alfred Payton. Yeah, you got to run with Alfred from? Payton if he has the ball or if he doesn't. He likes to get out in transition. Here's Knox. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's his first personal. Third team foul. At the line for the Knicks, Kevin Knox the second. At the line, two shots. And the first one drops. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. Rose is checked in for quickly. And a change for the Suns. JaVale McGee's checked in for Chandler Hutchison. He's perfect from the line this time. Uh, Kevin Knox got a ton of experience in his rookie year playing for the New York Knicks. The ninth overall pick in 2018 out of Kentucky. Played nearly 30 minutes a game. That's a, a lot of minutes to try to understand your game at the pro level and then what you need to work on. Back to Rose. That shot is good. He has made eight while missing only four. That's 67% shooting. Pretty sweet pass there as Knox showing his ability to read the floor. Tries again. And it's Shamit missing. That's one he knows he should have drained. Here's Knox. Covered by Smith. Knox misses. Phoenix has gone 5 of 8 from three-point land. 15 points and a deep ball for them tonight. Smith for three. Knicks with the rebound. Gibson's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Grimes. Excellent D that time there from McGee. Phoenix has gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Shoots it. Here's Smith. Second chance shot over Gibson. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Three-second violation. Knicks ball. New York's gone three of four from downtown here in the fourth. Throws it up high, and Toppin throws it down. And for a big guy, Obi is quick off the floor. So Peyton will bring it up for the Sun. Over Rose, and the basket by Peyton. Peyton. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. And guys, shot A comes to mind for me because right now that offense, it's a smooth operator. And he gets the whistle three. for the three-second call. Violation. And to make Some that ball. mistake at this time is tough to come back from. Well, not making things easier on themselves right now, that's for sure. The Sun shooting in offensive execution has been beyond great there. 63% from the floor in this game. Rebounded by Knox. Knox has got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Grimes. He can't hit that time. The Suns go the other way with it. Here's McGee. Tipped away. Here's Shamit. The Knicks pull it in. Gibson's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. 
You know, not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Okay, two hands for safety. That's that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk, no question. Here's Peyton. It's rebounded by New York. And a fast break now for the Knicks. Knox with the ball. Shoots over Shamit. Knox misses. Phoenix has gone five of nine when they put up the three-point shot tonight. Here's McGee. And he can't bang that one in. New York's gone to three-point range for 12 of their points in the final quarter on four of five shooting. The dish now to Rose. Down low, Gibson. And another assist for him. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Here's Peyton. The 18-footer is right on the mark. Peyton's got 15 points here in the second half. I like to see this on a nightly basis happen a few more times. He knows he's got to get better at the mid-range jump shot. Pass to Knox. There's the drive. McGee with the block. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for Phoenix. You know, it's tough to put your finger on the deciding factor in this one, but I'd say that the shooting accuracy made the difference. Yeah, I think you're on point, Kevin. They got better looks, and that tends to lead to a better field goal percentage. And for the year now, they'll be tallying their 16th win. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Chris Paul. That's amazing defense from him. Seemed to know exactly when to pounce on the passing lanes and predictive steals. And here's a timeout for Monty Williams. Player of the game, Hutchison. Chris Paul. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. He silenced this crowd with an unreal display. His ability to drown out the noise and the hostility of an opposing crowd is pretty special. There's 57 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Alice position, you could see the frustration on his face. Good work there as it goes. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. And the Suns miss again. And guys, you've heard of overpassing. Well, that shot was an example of underpassing. Maybe they can find a way to establish some rhythm in the next few possessions with the extra pass. And Rose playing a big role offensively. He's got to be a focal point of your Landry defensive Shatter. scouting report. No doubt he can hurt you. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yeah, when you step into an opposing team's arena and you can play with this type of composure, boy, that food tastes good on the way out of town. And here's Peyton. He'll bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. Wing shot on the way. They get the rebound. Here's Smith. Bucket is good. Yeah, and a better box out saves them two points there. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and 
collect that rebound in the possession. Now Rose. So it's the Suns winning easily here. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Alfred, first off, congrats on the win. What was the key to getting this one? Oh, man. We made shots. Uh, we did a good job of, you know, just getting to the rim. Big effort tonight, Alfred. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.